Hello, my name is Dr. George Taylor. I'm a physician scientist at Celeste Regenerative Therapeutics in California. We specialize in stem cell based cos uh, cosmeceuticals for anti aging skin care. I want to start a series of videos that are educational and entertaining so that we can sort of get some of the smoke and mirrors in the industry blown away. I've been seeing all kinds of things come into my spam uh, box and I opened them up and one was recently about Martha Stewart and how she changed her face with a simple topical uh, product that did miracles. I went into that video and I soon found a picture of a woman who'd been on the product for two weeks and every single hair was in precisely the same place obviously a total subterfuge. Just yesterday I got another vi uh, video uh, in my inbox and it had to do with a NASA scientist finding a miracle cure down in Antarctica of all places. Reading into that and going through the video there, it all started with how the plastic surgery industry and the uh, pharmaceutical industry was protecting their billions of dollars by keeping this secret. The truth of the matter is it was talking about mud. It was talking about glacial mud, that the fine silt that comes out in the glacial rivers down in Antarctica. Well, that was interesting because uh, I remember Mr. Wonderful on the Shark Tank program getting smothered in uh, mud from an Alaska glacier. So obviously there was nothing special about Antarctica. There was nothing special about Alaska. There's probably, in my mind, nothing special about glacial mud. So what is special? Well, what's special are there are real scientific things you could do. There's real scientific processes. There's all kinds of things that make sense, that have the validity of research. We know that you can always go to the plastic surgeon. We know that that is something that people resort to. It's expensive. Sometimes the results aren't all that, that uh, attractive. I, I think of Kenny Rogers and Melanie Griffith and Michael Jackson, the comedian Carrot here at top, uh, some pictures I see I don't recognize the people at all. I want to take you on an educational journey. We're going to split this up into, into several uh, sections and over the next few weeks I hope that you'll come to learn what's real and what's not real in skincare so that you can make an informed decision. So let's be honest here. There's no magic potion or miracle cure that's going to stop aging. It's real simple. If, you, if you're alive, you age. Uh, but healthy aging is a lifestyle choice, it's, and the popularity of that is growing. Uh, for a lot of modern women, it's about looking as healthy and as youthful as possible, no matter what the calendar may say. Uh, the goal is not to look like a younger version of oneself, but uh, to age naturally, gracefully, in, in a way that's healthy and beautiful. So the emphasis in healthy and beautiful aging has to be on those aspects of aging over which one has control. Uh, sun exposure, nutrition, sleep patterns. Um, what we're trying to accomplish is to get improved skin health and rejuvenation, a plumper, smoother, firmer texture and surface with uh, reduced lines and wrinkles and a more even uh, pigmentation and less redness. Um, cosmeceuticals, these are topical products that actually have drug-like effects are playing an increasingly important role in uh, skin health and rejuvenation, so much that uh, plastic surgery on the face where skin is cut away and skin is pulled back more tightly is actually reducing in popularity and there's other less invasive and traumatic modalities uh, becoming much more popular. The topics we're gonna cover in the next few weeks are how the skin ages and how it heals, what are the damaging effects of inflammation on our body's tissues, including the skin, cosmeceuticals, what are the types of active ingredients that actually make them work, the role of cytokines and growth factors in how our cells communicate, the skincare pyramid, more on stem cells and why stem cells from plants and stem cells from animals, i.e. humans, are totally different, and why laboratory cultures of different types of cells produce very different kinds of cytokines and growth factors and why one particular type of stem cell is optimal. I invite you back. I think you'll learn a lot and I think you'll understand why we're so excited at Celeste to be on the forefront of cellular science in skincare. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you soon.